Well, hello, my dear YouTubers. I'm back with another video, but today is going to be a completely different video. Nothing about cars. I just want to show you. Maybe do a quick review on this track bike. It's a dual sport. Uh, it's a very beautiful bike. This is my second time riding it, and uh, it's February, the end of February right now. So let me show you the bike. So this is my track dual sport 2 2020 model. <clears throat> is amazing bike amazing so I just started riding I used to have Schwinn but I decided to upgrade to track the coolest thing about this track dual sport 2 is the hydraulic brakes yes it has a hydraulic brakes there's a hydraulic fluid in here and there's a little uh, there's like oil that goes in here on the front and on the rear we have a hydraulic brakes uh, 24 gears shifts very nicely. I got to 30 miles per hour on this thing. The rear derailleur is Shimano Acera. Shimano Acera. Uh, shifting is very smooth, front and uh, rear. Uh, as you see on the back, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, stars, and on the front we have three. Uh, Shifters are here, eight and three. So, uh, on the front, the fork, the shocks, you can lock them, or you can have them open. Okay, now here's what I install here extra. This flashlight, I bought it on uh, Amazon. So, this one also. So if you ride it at evening or at night, it's pretty nice. Uh, and on the rear I also installed this separately but the bike does come with the reflectors on here and here okay let's go to the tires Bontrage it says Bontrage right here Bontrage Bontrage can't even read it right yeah Bontrage Bontrage okay what else I can tell you about tires they're not like a mountain bike tires they're like universal for trails and a little bit of off-roading if you want uh, I'm not expert at reviewing tell you this I'm just showing you the bike I installed this water bottle holder myself this was aftermarket I bought it on Amazon very nice one Cork corky and I also installed the pump this was also from Amazon so it's very nice uh, what I do like a lot about this bike, you see all these cables, they hide inside the frame. On this side it goes inside the frame, and on this side two of them goes inside into the frame. So you have nothing underneath there, here. It's beautiful. And uh, I will show you eventually like how, when I go bike riding, how I uh, install it on my car, this bike. Look at this brake pads just like in the car on the left and on the right squeezes for both sides hydraulic brakes there's a little bleeder screw that's cool same thing on the back these are from what I read these are very good Tektro Tektro brakes see left and the right brake pads like in the car that is so cool and this bicycle stops so well, like if you can hit the brakes, it just like stops. Very sensitive, very nice. All right, let me show you. This is what it says on the tires. Bontrach LT2, 700 by 38. Have no idea what that means. <laughs> um, let's go to the stand. Solid, very, very solid stand. It's not like one of those department store bikes where the stand is mounted here. This is solid. Two nice screws go through here, or bolts, and the bike is standing. Now I'm not a big fan of this seat. It's very hard on my big butt, but uh, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's all right. You can always install a, whatever you want. And I wish this bike had a quick release for the seat. Otherwise, you need like a little Allen wrench to release the seat. Um, 
See like on the front, you can release this wheel very easily. You have a quick release, front wheel is out. Same thing on the rear, right there. Um, what else I can point it out? Shimano. Uh, the pedals, let me show you something. These are like a hardcore plastic. They're not metal, not aluminum. That's another minus, I think. I mean, you can change the pedals. But this part, of course, it's metal. Just, this is not a plastic. This is metal. This is plastic. Uh, oh well, not a big deal. Um, so one thing I'm going to upgrade, I'm going to upgrade this quick release. I'm going to put quick release on the seat in case if my wife want to ride it, or, you know, she can adjust it. Um, might put, I might put a guard for the, so the mud doesn't go on my back. What else? I mean, it's an awesome bike. I mean, it's awesome. The nice, nice collar, nice sticker. Uh, <laughs> I bought this one from Greg Cyclery here in uh, Liberty World, Northbrook. Um, what else? Overall, I'm very impressed with this bike. It rides very smooth, goes fast, good shocks on the front. Uh, shifting very smooth very very smooth I couldn't wait till spring to ride this bicycle I decided like okay fine it's 38 degrees 40 degrees there's less snow on the trails I'm going I, I couldn't wait and I'm glad I did uh, so far I did about 20 miles on this bike and I'm very impressed with it it's uh, very light lifted up with one hand no problem very light frame um, Love the way the shifts, I love the way it looks, everything. And the price tag, it was fair. Let's just say it was fair. I paid $6.45 plus taxes, it came out to us about $700 or so. $6.99, something like that. But it's well worth it. Uh, because I always had those cheaper bikes from the department stores for like $250. Not even, you know, it's cheap, you know. So I decided to do a little upgrade. I want to do more biking, especially like I installed on my car, as you've seen on my videos before, I installed the bike carrier and I can carry this bike. I can take my wife's bike, my daughter's bike, go anywhere. And we have a lot of trails here in Lake County. Let me show you something. Most of this trail are like this. It's easy to bike ride. Beautiful scenery here. And it's still February, the end of February. Today is exactly tw February 24th. So I could not wait. I wanted to bike ride so badly. And this is it. Oh, I forgot to show you this. I installed this for my phone. I have a Galaxy S7, S10 Plus, the big phone. I can put my uh, phone in here. And uh, little tools. I got some tools in here. Little tools. This is from my other bike, Schwinn. And this pouch is also from Schwinn. <laughs> but anyway, it's always good to have like a little multi-tool. And it's also have a pump. I'll show you the link in the description where I purchased this. It was on Amazon for like nine bucks or 10 bucks. It was well worth it. I love this also um, bottle holder. It looks like original for track. It comes with all the mounting gear mounting bolts it's not like a cheap plastic it's more like it's a hardcore plastic um, and the reason why I did not put the uh, the metal one because the metal you know it rusts um, anyway the brakes let me show you brakes nice beautiful disc brakes very impressed with the stopping power and what else oh uh, here you have like these little plugs so you can put like a you can install a, a trunk for this to hold your gear if you have some or you can put like a mud flap mud guard whatever there's one on the side here mounting hole and one over here on the, on the other side and of course here you can put the like the mount like screws in there okay I am not good at reviewing bicycles but I really want to share with you my purchase 
and uh, oh very important thing you see this part right here you can put a sensor in there and it will tell you the speed of your bike how you're going where you're stopping it's like it has a Bluetooth on there connects to your phone and there's a, this bike comes with a, see like a mounting thing you can mount your original flashlight or whatever you want you can just mount it here or do do a uh, camera here but I'm not gonna use that because I go after market for flashlights and uh, you know all the reflectors and everything and there you have it guys my little short video track dual sport 2 2020 model and I'm riding right now in Lake County trails with an open fork it is awesome okay guys quick review of this flashlight tell you what I think about it bought it on Amazon for like 14 or 15 bucks it's by Asher rechargeable flashlight has different modes flashlight more powerful mode flashing okay intermittent flashing so there's two modes one is more powerful and one is less powerful bright brighter and less brighter and different flashing modes uh, well I tried it out last night I was riding on the street it was awesome all right uh, on the back here we have a charging port USB port and let me it's like a little sliding rail and you can just take the light off and you can just carry it with you put it in your pocket the way it attaches to the steering it's like a little stretchable rubber piece rubber band almost you know um, it does have a tendency to shift a little bit if you go over rough surfaces like if you're riding in like uh, on the uneven surfaces uh, it uh, does like to shift so you can stretch this rubber band more and secure it better let me show you something else all right you will not scratch your bike handle because there's also rubber padding here nice beautiful rubber padding so that's cool well now I can mount it back because I'm holding my phone with the right hand and you got the point also when you order the flashlight it comes with this uh, rear flashing light also rechargeable there's a usb port right here let me show you this first mode it stays red now it's flashing flashing faster and solid red very visible at night and it matches the bike color so that's cool also here you can mount it different ways let me show you uh, one hand operation I'm sure you you got the point what I'm trying to do there's a little clip here you push it back and this comes out you can mount this uh, light horizontally like I did vertically and adjust it it moves down downward you see moves downwards up down up whatever angle you want and the coolest thing it's USB rechargeable as you see here also watertight it's a USB uh, micro USB connector it's not one of those new USB-C there you go same thing here it's a USB port but USB micro USB like not one of the newer USB-C but it's all right I have a bunch of those cables also very good seal so the water doesn't get there you see this is a connector to charge it 
What I did before, I had a power bank. I would put the power bank in a pouch, and if I wanted to charge my phone or the flashlight, it worked. Nice LED light. Now, I don't know the lumen power, but uh, I'll find it and I'll put it in the description. But it's a very bright light. If you have a bike, install it, you'll be happy. Looks cool, looks like original, looks like it belongs here. And they wanted 75 bucks for the light to put it here. 75 or 80 bucks. I'm like, are you guys insane? I'll go off to market for 15 bucks, it looks the same. Okay. What else? This pump. You want to see the pump? I don't know. I hope this video is interesting to somebody. This little additional attachment piece. It's a cheap pump, but oh well. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on this. I already bought a bike. So, mounted over here was these bolts. Looks original. This is the pump. And this is, it even shows you PSI over here. It feels cheap in the, when you're holding it, but it works. Let's just say that, it works. So on my other pump, I had a spring here. This one doesn't have a spring. And uh, there's also this valve. It goes up. Very plasticky feel to it. This is plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic. The only thing, I think, no, this is actually no. This this part right here is metal, and everything else is plastic. I think. Whatever. This was a cheap pump, and it works good. It does the job good, and it, it looks cool when you attach it to the side here. That's all I care about. I am not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on some fancy pump. Uh, I don't go like who knows where biking. I bike in the populated areas. You see houses over there, trail. So if I have a flat tire, oh well, I'll walk. I like this little piece attachment. Okay, here you have it, my little purchase. I hope you enjoy it and subscribe put likes, put comments. You want to see more videos? No guys, one more thing. One more thing. I did not show you this little light. I have a review of this light on my other uh, on my other videos. So I'll put a link in the description to this product too down in my under the video. So, little light on the front. Okay, have a good day or good night. And uh, keep biking, keep doing outdoor activities. Alright, bye-bye. Thank you for watching Nazarado's channel.